Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I hope this video finds you well wherever you are in the world. So I'd like to take this opportunity just to provide a little bit of an update with respect to the uh, film club live stream schedule for the next few weeks, just in case you're interested. So now we are finding ourselves in the final week of February 2020. And I must thank all of you for your kind, uh, kind attention and your time and your participation and comments and questions and uh, providing your thoughts and comments and opinions with respect to those films that we have talked about and I've had the great pleasure of speaking about over the course of the last few weeks. Anyway, there have been a number of great uh, films that I've, it's been my pleasure to talk about uh, in my own very, very small capacity. And uh, it's, uh, it's been great, too, because I've learned a lot, and it's wonderful to uh, get these new, uh, uh, how should I put it, it's wonderful to be able to be inspired uh, by your, uh, your own takes and, and interpretations about specific things. The most recent uh, film club live stream that took place was just a couple days ago from the time of ma I'm making this video right now, and we discussed the film Akira the 1988 anime film from Japan and I must say that it was a, a wonderful uh, experience for me and I, I, I it, it was a great opportunity for me one to re-examine the film and it was a film that I must admit that I, I thought that I knew uh, I mean I, when I say thought that I knew I, I, I mean let me take that back I felt that I was comfortable with it, let me put it that way, because I had seen it so many times, you know. But uh, watching it through the lens of this YouTube channel and uh, hearing the various takes on the film from many people who had either attended the live stream or who left comments behind has been such a joy for me because it, it's really helped me to re-examine or reconsider the film in many different lights which is always uh, something that I'm uh, eager to, to uh, hear from you about and to absorb your takes on and, and things like that because it just helps me uh, further my own uh, progress all along the way in my own personal film journey. So uh, I really have to thank you very much for uh, helping me and guiding me and, and teaching me and being my teachers uh, about these great films, including the, the last one that we spoke about, which was Akira. And that was a really exciting time for me. I, I really learned a lot from you. So I want to thank you for, once again, being my teachers. Um, I really appreciate it very much. And so with that spirit, I'd like to continue on with this uh, live streaming and so, as you know, uh, the next live stream is scheduled for Saturday, March 7th, 2020. The film that we will be discussing, or it will be my pleasure to discuss, will be the film Afterlife, or Wanda Furu Life. This is the Japanese Blu-ray that I have, and uh, this is, uh, I, I'm not sure how easily accessible this film is in terms of being able to watch it or being able to obtain a copy of it outside of Japan. Uh, maybe it might be a little bit difficult, for instance, in North America as of now. I'm not sure. There might have been a DVD of it which has since fallen out of print. Uh, but if you, are, if you are able to watch it, uh, please, uh, I recommend it wholeheartedly because it's such a, a poignant, funny, and very clever very very clever film and it'll be my pleasure to be able to just try to share with you just some some uh, uh, thoughts that I have about it 
as with all these other films, I am not an expert and I haven't studied the films thoroughly uh, in any great detail. So I'm just going to be coming at this as a fan and admirer of this film. But it is a film that I really do admire very, very much. So this is the film Afterlife. Afterlife uh, from Hirokazu Koreeda. So this is going to be the film for March 7th, 2020. So Afterlife is going to be March 7th, 2020 at 11 p.m. Tokyo time. Then what I'd like to do is on the uh, on the 21st of March, this is once again March 21st, 2020 at 11 p.m. Tokyo time. Uh, this is, uh, again, March 21st. So I, I, there were a number of films that I was thinking about, and I th thought maybe I should try to do another poll again and see about that, but I find it, it, it was a little bit difficult for me to pull together uh, a number of, of titles for a poll. It, it was just uh, uh, I, I didn't have uh, the time to assemble the poll uh, in order to be able to implement it in time, so I really apologize for that. I will try my best to do something with that later down the line, but for now, if you'll forgive me and forgive my indulgence, I'd like to uh, just present uh, a film here that is of my own choosing that I'd like to have as the topic of discussion for the uh, for March 21st 2020 that's Saturday March 21st 2020 at 11 p.m. Tokyo time um, I've been asked a lot about this film and I I, I, I must say that I, I've mentioned it before, but I, at the same time, I haven't mentioned it before. And what do I mean? Well, let me just say what the film is. The film is going to be this film, which is uh, Vertigo from 1958. This is Alfred Hitchcock directed film, Vertigo. And I've cited this film, Vertigo, many, many times as being uh, my favorite film ever. If I had to choose one film that was my favorite film ever, um, I think many times in my life I would have said the film Vertigo. And uh, even now, I'm not quite sure, uh, to be perfectly honest, what is my favorite film of all time as of now. I'm actually a little bit torn. Uh, one might think that I'm, I might be cheating if I were to say that maybe there are there, actually, as of now, there's uh, more than one. There's about three or four, actually, that uh, in my heart, I must say, that are, uh, are my favorite films of all time. And I can't quite distinguish them uh, just between them at the moment or among them at the moment. But, but among those films now, even now, is the film Vertigo. And for the longest time in my life, whenever someone asked me that question, I would have responded without hesitation, the film Vertigo. And this is a film that I've seen so, so many times. And I remember seeing it on a VHS tape when I was growing up, not quite understanding what was going on in the film. And then I watched it many times. And then it was a film that had been restored uh, uh, way back in the day and then it was re-released on VHS and uh, DVD and and the like and so it, it, it sort of gave new life to the film as it were and it continued on and, and it's a film that has of course over time gained a great level of prestige uh, critical appraisal and prestige and it's such a a monumental work of art or it's considered to be such a monumental work of art that i think uh, um, i think for the longest time i've been uh, i've been very hesitant to talk about this film in any great detail except to mention it in passing uh, simply because it's I think for me anyway it's a film that I I on the one hand I care very very deeply about and I I'm so moved by the film in certain specific ways on the one hand and on the other hand I must admit to feeling a little bit of of um, 
I, I feel a little bit intimidated by the film you know, simply because it's it's one that has such a huge critical appraisal uh, from many avenues of film criticism and film critics uh, throughout film uh, studies history and also it's so highly regarded uh, as a work of art and also it's something that has been spoken about many many times uh, through many different critical lenses so with all that stuff uh, in the in the background as it were I wouldn't necessarily have any um, I wouldn't have any ability to be able to speak to this film uh, with anything fresh or new or novel uh, and I wouldn't necessarily speak to this film uh, or speak about this film as any, uh, any uh, sort of academic uh, or someone who has studied this film thoroughly. With that said, my friends, I still love this film very much. I really admire its craft and I really uh, admire the way it just twists and turns and sometimes quite uh, unbelievable or almost preposterous proportions but still it manages somehow to maintain an air of of sheer captivation and uh, it has a kind of hypnotic spell uh, upon me whenever I watch it and uh, I've never spoken about this film, uh, but I think in, I, I've been asked about this on a number of occasions. And so if you are interested, I can take the opportunity again on March 21st, uh, 2020, March 21st, 2020. I'll take the opportunity on that uh, date and time, 11 p.m. Tokyo time to just speak to you and to share with you just why it is I really admire this film and what specifically about the film that I, I find fascinating and uh, lovely and charming on the one hand but also quite uh, baffling and uh, inscrutable and somewhat uh, frustrating uh, in a good way, uh, but frustrating in terms of a, of a viewing experience on the other hand. I mean, it's, it's a very complicated, complex feeling that I have, or a set of feelings that I have every time I watch this film. And so I'd be very, it would be my honor and such a, a, a privilege and honor for me to be able just to share with you uh, just some thoughts that I have about the film. So with that, uh, I'd like to just uh, set the date and time, March 21st, 2020, at 11 p.m. Tokyo time. Let's talk about this film, Vertigo. And so uh, we can go from there. And then uh, this might be a great opportunity for me to hear some of your thoughts and comments about the film. Uh, they can be positive comments, they can be negative comments. Uh, I know that this is a film that, uh, just based on my own uh, personal interactions with many different people uh, over the course of the last few years about this film, and also about uh, just through anecdotal evidence on my part, I know that this is a film that some people really, really love, uh, but others maybe not so much. And so I, I completely get uh, both uh, sides of this coin. Uh, and uh, uh, I don't mind at all if uh, uh, anyone is not so keen on this film. And uh, that, that's not a problem with me at all. So, uh, but I, at the same time, I do still... Uh, have a great admiration for this work and so it'll be my pleasure to uh, just share with you some of those reasons as to why i have a great admiration of this work once again this will be march 21st uh, 2020 at 11 p.m tokyo time that's a saturday where i am and so if you're interested please feel free to stop by and uh, join us it'll be my pleasure to be able to meet you and connect with you and to hear what it is you have to say about this film and any other film so uh, once again that is the schedule for march uh so once again uh if 
let's see, we are going to talk about, first is March 7th, 2020. March 7th, 2020 will be Afterlife by Hirokazu Koreeda. And then two weeks from then, which is March 21st, 2020, we will be talking about the film Vertigo. So if you are interested, please feel free to stop by. It'll be my pleasure to be uh, to hear what it is you have to say about either or both of these films. Okay, my friends. So that's it for now as far as the schedule for March 2020 is concerned. Once again, I will try to keep this up uh, as much as I can. And I will try to get more of your uh, interactions uh, to the best of my ability. Uh, I want to thank all of you uh, who have uh, participated or who have expressed interest in these live streams and who have given me uh, some uh, very great support and suggestions and advice and a lot of encouragement along the way. I must say that you know this these live streams and this YouTube channel would be absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing, were it not for all of you. And I really, I, I know this, and I know this every single day, and I, I hope that, uh, I, I hope that I'm making myself clear, because I really, really believe that. It is uh, something that is uh, not just me talking on uh, in my room to an iPhone. It's really an interactive experience and uh, the, uh, the interactions and the contributions from you, my dear friends and viewers, uh, this is just as important, if not more so. It is more important than uh, the contributions that I make and I really believe that. And so I, I want to thank you so much for uh, your encouragement in uh, wanting to keep doing this live stream stuff. It, it's been very uh, encouraging for me, and, and I hope, therefore, that uh, it will continue for as, uh, as long as possible. So, At least for the time being, anyway, for March 2020, uh, we'll have these two films to keep us occupied. And oh gosh, these both of them, these are really great films in their own unique ways. So uh, I hope that you enjoy watching them or re-watching them as the case may be. And uh, if you have time, once again, please feel free to stop by during those live streams uh, in uh, March, March 7th and March 21st. And if you cannot make it due to your own schedule, don't worry because those live streams will always be uploaded to the channel as videos after the fact. So you can always catch up with them as videos uh, in your own time uh, if you are interested, of course. So uh, no need to worry at all, my friends, at all. Uh, whatever uh, is convenient for your schedule, uh, hopefully uh, you'll find uh, some way of being able to, to watch the, the, the video or the live stream, whatever it is you want, uh, if you want to, of course. Uh, so there's that. So, uh, that is the situation for the Film Club live stream schedule for March. And once again, I will let you know about subsequent plans uh, in April and beyond as soon as I have uh, settled on uh, a direction for those. So until then, my friends, uh, please be happy and healthy and well, and please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies, including, if possible, of course, the films Afterlife and Vertigo, So and others, of course. And as always, if you have any recommendations for any films, please feel free to share those with me and with the rest of us at any time, my friends. I would love to hear what it is you have to recommend for us. So, Until then, my friends, please take good care of yourselves. Please be happy and healthy and well. And please, as always, keep on watching a lot of great, great, great movies, my friends. Be well and cheers. <laughs>